Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. I'm reminded today. Good morning, my friends. I hope that you are well. I trust that you are well. And uh, always forgive me for any background sounds. I've got my little studio office nestled down in the basement with the laundry, the water heater, the heater, and all the plumbing, right? So sometimes you'll hear us beeping or different noises, and I apologize for that, but that's what it is, and that's what we have. We're back with the sacred journey, and let me tell you something. I've had such a sacred journey this past weekend. The Lord has moved some things in me, moved some things out that needed to go. And uh, I encourage you to ask Him to search your heart and seek out anything in there that doesn't belong there, that's not from Him. Any habits any behaviors, any media, any, I mean, it could be anything, really. It could be anything, okay? And so, uh, he will take it from you, but you have to give it to him, right? That came to me last week. It's like, oh, Jesus, take this from me. No, Jesus, I give this to you, right? So, uh, and confess. Confess to one another. I confessed, I confessed it to a few people that I trust at my church. So uh, I encourage you to lay those things that aren't of God at the foot of the cross where they belong. He died for our sins so we could be forgiven, so we could repent. We have to repent. We have to repent. It means turn away. And it's not easy. It is so not easy. Um, but I encourage you today with that as we step into this lovely, lovely perspective that some of us don't even, I've never really heard of this perspective. I know I hadn't really heard of the perspective except for some scriptures here and there in the Bible. But this goes deeper. This goes really, really deeper. So we're on page 17, not for long, if you're following along. Um, Song of Songs, chapter 1, verse 3. For your name is flowing oil. Jesus, your name is flowing oil. And thank you that you pour your fragrant oil all over us. The name of Jesus is oil in the Father's hand. And that oil is poured out over us. He is the only name. He's the only name that the Father has poured forth. If you remember... The only way to God, the Father, is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ washes our sin away. And the Father sees us unblemished. It's hard to wrap your brain around. Don't try to wrap your brain around it. Just receive it in your spirit. In fact, uh, I'm trying to think uh, which service it was. Oh, it was... Uh, Christ Fellowship Church, I watched it last night, I've been a little behind on watching their services at the uh, North Georgia Revival, now in its like 354th week, amazing things happening there, and uh, right towards the end of the worship, what could wash away my sin, nothing but the blood of Jesus, uh, it washes me white as snow, and uh, they sang that song, a couple of times and it's a wonderful reminder it's a wonderful reminder receive that today how he sees you how lovely remember how we've been talking how lovely how lovely you are to him I am to him 
mind blowing. I'm going to back up and I'm going to say the sentence one more time. He, his is the only name that the Father has poured forth, poured out at Calvary, poured out at Pentecost, poured out on me and poured out on you. And what they mean about poured out at Pentecost, that's when the Holy Spirit was given. And that's where the power is. The power is in the Holy Spirit. And if you haven't received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, may I more than suggest that you ask God to give you the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I'm not saying your baptism for salvation, your baptism of the Holy Spirit. When his name is poured out like oil or perfume, the lost become passionate lovers of God. The lost become passionate lovers of God. Oh. The anointing for ministry is found in the poured out name of our beloved, capital B. Thank you, Lord. The <clears throat> Mary of Bethany poured out the perfume of love on Jesus' feet until the fragrance filled the house. Healing is in his perfume. His lovely name. Our love covenant with him gives us the right to use the power of his name. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's a few songs about that. There is power, power, wonder working power. Yep. The blood of the Lamb. Say to your beloved, let your lovely name be poured out upon me, Lord Jesus! Exclamation mark there. Let your lovely name be poured upon me, Lord Jesus. Let your lovely name be poured out on us, Lord Jesus. And we thank you. We're still in one and three. No wonder the brides-to-be adore you. No wonder. This can also be translated as how right they are to adore you. Who are these brides to be who are following the Shulamites so closely? They are believers who have yet to be gripped with the holy passion for the Son of God. They are sincere and true believers, but they are immature in their love. This entire story is the saga of how the brides-to-be, following the king from a distance and watching the way of a man, capital M, with a maiden, become Shulamites. We are Shulamites, men and women of God, and begin their pursuit of the bridegroom. The book will end where it begins. Another Shulamite will arise and cry out for a kiss from the king. Remember what we said about kiss? It's not a kiss on the lips. It's, it's a kiss in the spirit. It's a kiss in the spirit. And you remember what the author said earlier is how we kiss our babies, our newborn babies, we kiss our babies, we kiss our children for that matter, and we, the kiss is the last thing we do when somebody is leaving this earth. If we're with them, we're kissing them goodbye. No wonder we adore him, for Jesus cherishes the immature and weak believers. Jesus cherishes the weak and the immature believers. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you cherish us who are weak and immature. 
grow us closer to you, God, become more mature. I know we'll never not be weak and we'll never be mature, but we're on that road. We must have more songs to sing about his love. The world must know, the world, the world must know that Jesus is a friend to the sinful one. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. He calls you friend. Lord, no wonder our hearts swell at the mention of your name. To see you is to love you. How worthy you are, Prince of Glory, to receive the love of all. This divine song will awaken you to pursue your divine friend. Plead with him to reveal more of his endless love to your heart so that you may give it all back to him. I love that. I always say, Lord, fill my cup to overflowing so that I can pour it out on others. But this is a different perspective. This is a whoa give it back to him give it back to him whoa beautiful we're still in one and three no wonder the brides to be adore you it's repeated jesus is everything that righteousness stands for he's the perfect example of manhood perfection grace and uprightness those who are upright in heart will see him, their perfect model and spouse. How right is it to abandon our lives to him? Do you adore him? Are you passionate about him? Pray this prayer today. Lord Jesus, I see how you are infinitely kind, kinder than I ever imagined you to be. Your willingness to walk with me and love me has completely changed me. Thank you for the changes I'm beginning to see in me while on this sacred journey. I want to know the power of your love until I can love others with the same love you have for me. Amen. And there are so many more words to describe who he is. Infinitely kind. Tip of the iceberg. It's the tip of the iceberg. Oh, Lord Jesus, I thank you, God. Oh, Lord. Continually create in me a clean heart, Lord. Renew a right spirit in, with, within me every day, every minute of the day, whatever, whatever time of day I need, renew it in my spirit, Lord. Help me to turn and focus to you. The author, the finisher, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The wonderful, merciful Savior. Counselor lover of my soul. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for loving me where I'm at with all my with all my junk. And I ask, Lord, that you help me to continue to give that junk to you, Lord, to set it aside, God, and anoint me, anoint us for your purposes for us in this life, Lord. The Great Commission to preach the gospel to the nations, to our neighbors, to anybody, God, that we meet, and to love our neighbor, which is anyone like ourselves, Lord. And if we're having trouble loving ourselves, Lord, help us love ourselves, God, because we won't be able to fulfill that, God. And help us to be forgivers, God. 
because your word says that we, you won't forgive us. But that's not the only reason to do it. It's like part of the reason to do it is because you won't forgive us. And all that comes along with that, Lord, that, I'm, that you're not forgiving us, God. But when we hold unforgiveness in ourselves, God, it only hurts us. It does not hurt the person we're not forgiving. God, thank you, Lord, that you can help us with that. God, I pray that we could bring every single one of those unforgiveness situations to you and ask for your help. And if we need to do it once, twice, five times, or a hundred and five times, or seventy times, seven times, God, that you will help us. And Lord, if there's any areas of unbelief within me, within us, Lord, that you would help us in that unbelief, God. Or if we believe that you'll do it for somebody else, but we don't believe that you would do it for us, that is a lie from the enemy. And I pray that you will correct us, God. You'll bring correction to us and that we will receive it, Lord. You are worthy and only you are worthy. Thank you. Praise be to you. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So I pray you receive something about that today. That is, this is so good. And like I said, it's so slow. We're only on page 18, okay? 19. But we're going to go slow. Just sit with it. Know that. Know everything he said in here. You are lovely. You are lovely. You are lovely. I am lovely. Ah, oh, wow. I'm lovely. I know. It's hard sometimes to receive it. You receive it. Receive it. Receive it. And know that I love you. But he just loves you so much more than I can even tell you. God bless you and have a great day.